The new Space Marine Scouts from Kill Team Salvation are now available in a box of their own. In this video, I'll take a closer look at the new models and compare the scale with a variety of old and new Space Marine Scouts, including previous Scout models from every generation. At the end, I ask the all-important question – scale creep or no scale creep? I'm Starly from Tale of Painters and in this video I'll check the scale of the newly updated Scouts. Games Workshop seems to shy away from calling these explicitly Primaris, but I have a hunch that the new versions might have gotten noticeably larger. The base size is now 28 instead of 25mm, same as the Black Templar Neophytes, and the total height is 40.5mm including base, but keep in mind that this sculpt has one of its feet slightly raised. Let's take a look at the spruce. The box has two identical two-part sprues, each building five models, so ten models in total. So far so good, but speaking of the heads, I'm not too fond of them. They seem somewhat squarer and more squashed than most other Space Marine heads. I found the heads were a weak point in the old kit as well, so it seems they're continuing the tradition. Here I have a metal second edition scout for comparison. These classic models by Jess Goodwin have in influence the look of Space Marine Scouts to this day. You can already see that the size difference is massive. Next up is a Plastic Scout. This kit was released in 2005 and was available until recently. The Plastic Scout looks like a child, doesn't he? By the way, the Plastic Scout doesn't have one of the original heads from the kit as I really didn't like these. And here's the comparison with the Primaris Intercessor. Law-wise, Games Workshop doesn't seem to make such a big difference between Firstborn and Primarid unit types anymore, but you can see that the new Scout is definitely Primaris sized. Comparing the Scout to one of the new Cadians. Again, the new Scout here is at least a whole head taller and significantly bulkier. Here are all the models lined up. The classic Metal Scout, a Plastic Scout, the new Primaris sized Scout, an Intercessor, a new Cadian Shock Trooper and also an old Cadian for comparison. And this is how they look side by side. Next in this video I compare the new Scouts with various generations of power armor including the Mark VI Heresy Marines. But before we do that, why don't you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want me to make more scale comparisons like this. Alright, here I have a classic Firstborn Tactical Mark VII Marine and you can see that the proportions are much more compact and heroic scale compared to the updated proportions of the new Scout. And here's one of the new Mark VI Space Marines from the 2nd edition of Warhammer the Horus Heresy. And again, the proportions of the Scouts seem to be lankier and taller. So anyone planning to use the new Scouts for Horus Heresy will probably be disappointed. By the way, if you like the yellow tone of my Imperial Fist here, then check out the detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on my Patreon. I have loads of useful resources there, such as my popular hand-painted color swatches. Now let's line them all up. The classic Tactical Marine, along with the slightly larger models from the Space Marine Heroes series, the Mark VI Legionary next to the Scout, along with a Primaris Intercessor and a Primaris Reaver. Here they are all next to each other. Compared to the Primaris Reaver, who has a similar upright pose like the Scout, I would say that new Scouts are proportionate to Primaris Marines, yet slightly smaller, which I think suits them quite well, as they are not wearing full suits of power armor. So to answer the question from the beginning, is it scale creep, yes or no? I would say no scale creep. Rather, a scale adjustment to the Primaris range. But to make the final judgment, you'll need to watch this comparison video, which covers even more Space Marine armor variants from Mark III to Terminator armor, which you can find here on the right. Thanks a lot and happy hobbying!